The following program was produced by the United States Courts. I think it's important not to let uh, either people define what your future is and who you are or your background to define uh, who you are or what you can do. The town I grew up in was a great place to be raised, but it was a tough town. I found myself uh, getting involved in several fights. Uh, as a result, appeared in court on several occasions for fighting activity. One day, it was a Saturday morning, I remember it profoundly. I was in the kitchen uh, fixing breakfast, and my father, who I had heard uh, being told by my mother the things I was doing and not doing, I guess he thought about the fact that he was out here working two jobs, trying to make ends meet, and here I am causing my, uh, my mother all these problems. And he grabbed me and turned me around, and he said, let me make something clear to you. That woman back in that bedroom, that's my wife. I don't want to ever hear that you've disrespected her or said something out of your mouth that you shouldn't. And the way he was holding me and the way he said it, I realized that he meant it, so I had to make some hard choices. I had to start to get my act together, else I knew I was going to pay a dear price. I had a former football coach, and he was my history teacher. He knew I was not taking advantage of my intelligence, so one day he made me stand up, turn around and face my fellow students and read, or at least try to read. And it became very clear to them and to me that I did not read very well. Uh, so after class, he kept me and he said, Reggie, uh, you're a bright kid. Uh, I know you love football, you're a good football player, uh, but the reality is the chances that you're going to make a living playing football probably aren't that great. So you need to start thinking about what you're going to do in order to make a living, and it's probably going to be through academics. And the embarrassment of being you know, shown to not have the ability to read very well in front of my peers uh, and his words, I think, started me to think more about the importance of education. I uh, had gone in to talk to the guidance counselor and I told him, well, I'd like to be a, a medical doctor. And he told me, I just don't think that's a potential that you have. You should think about going to a trade school. And my mother, uh, when I told her that, she became very irate and she said, you're not going to a trade school, you're going to college. That gave me the appreciation that regardless of what somebody else said to try and define who I was and what I could do, uh, that my parents, my mother and father, were going to stick behind me, and that inspired me to pursue a college degree. As a local city judge on the Superior Court, one of the assignments I enjoyed the most was working with juvenile delinquents because my background at least, be, at least gave me some insight as to why they were doing some of the things they did. When I had a kid who I thought really had the potential to do well, I would tell them about my background, and you would see the light just go off, and they would say, you stood where I'm standing at one point? And i say, yes. I think that a lot of young people can achieve far beyond the success that they may think they have the capacity to achieve. So I think to a large degree, all of us are going to be challenged in one way or another. And I think those who survive or those who are able to deal with those external forces that are brought to bear in our life, and we don't let those external forces cause us to change our appreciation of who we are and what we can be.